very soon. Thank you, everybody, that emailed in with news and that. Much appreciated. Thanks. Hey, now I've got some news. What's that? Bang! I want to go walkies. Come on. Right, just calm down. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m., then again in the afternoon at 4 p.m. Hey, and I need love, love. Just calm down, will you? We'll leave you with brand new Me and My Monster. Come on, let's go. OK, where are you going? Hmm? What? Oh, this way. <laughs> See, See ya. Tomorrow. Oh! Oh. what it would be like to be someone different. Walk in their shoes for a bit. Especially if they were fuzzy and had claws. Thanks. You know, I've had a real nightmare week. I just need a relaxing weekend. Try to unwind. Monsters, breakfast! Come and get it! Yeah! <laughs> What are you scared of, toast? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, ouch. <laughs> right, that's it. We're out of here. Waiter, we'd like three milkshakes to go. I am not your waiter. We still like the shakes. <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Eddie, we've let you play with the monsters for the whole holidays, but now it's over and it's time for life to return to normal. Normal is boring. Can we just sit down and have a civilised family breakfast? Angela, do you have to read at the table? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do, actually, cos I have to finish just before the new term starts. That's not a book, it's a library. Eddie, could you pass the milk, please? Eddie, could you pass the milk? Eddie? Eddie? I don't answer to the name Eddie anymore. Oh, great. What do you answer to? Splurge. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's funny, yeah. That actually suits you. Is there a reason for this? I don't want to be human being anymore. From now on, I'm going to be full time monster. Is this for real? Yeah. Being a monster is a lifestyle choice which really works for me. Go to bed when you like, get up when you like, don't even have to wash or go to school. I should have converted ages ago. Did he just say he won't be going to school? This is this is perfect. My son informs me he's going to change species and it's not yet 8.30. This has gone too far. <sighs> Are you ready to take the Bogey Brother oath? I am ready. Then raise your hand and repeat after me. I, Human Eddie. I, Human Eddie. Now called Splurge. Now called Splurge. <laughs> Renounce my human thingy people ways forever. What she just said. And from this day forward, promise to do my monster worst. That too. It's now time for the ceremonial exchange of gifts. Oh, God, this is the best bit. Oh. Please accept the bogey. I accept the bogey. We all chipped in. I can see that. All right, this has gone far enough. Huh? Eddie. Time for you to play with some normal friends. Hey, I'm normal. Yeah, me too. Well, as normal as can be. They don't be normal. Yeah, you're the ones who aren't normal. I mean people friends, oh. boys your own age. No, I'm a monster now. Four against two. You can't make me. Eddie, come on. This, this, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Did he just squash a giant bogey on me? Yes. <laughs> hey, aren't you the lucky one? Oh. 
No one ever squashes a bogey on me. Right, that's it. Eddie, upstairs this instant and get dressed. I can't. I don't have any clothes. What have you done with them? We threw them all away. You <laughs> did what? The bin men took them this morning. I don't need clothes anymore. I have my splurge suit. Oh! Upstairs now! <laughs> you can take my home. You can take my dignity. You can take my toast. But you cannot take my son. Stop complaining, Eddie. These new human thingy clothes are itchy. <laughs> OK, everyone, this is Gavin. He lives across the street. Hello, Gavin. Gavin, this is Eddie and Angela. My name is Splurge. <laughs> it's Eddie. Look, Gavin has proper skin, hair and eyes, just like you. You've got lots in common. Ooh. Now, run along and play, boys. Go on. Weird parents? Yes. And a sister who reads? That is just wrong. Splurge is gone! He's left us! I'm very close to tears right now. Mm, me too. And that presents a major health risk. If you cry when you've got as many eyeballs as me, you dehydrate fast. In a matter of seconds, I'll be as dry as a little green biscuit. We're Splurge's true friends. Yeah. What's that kid got that we haven't got? Hmm? <laughs> so, uh, what do you want to do? What games do you have? Loads. Want to play desktop onto the sofa? Never heard of it. We could play gross out, but I should warn you, I've been trained by a team of experts. Don't you have any proper games? Like what? Computer games, what else? I don't have any. You're kidding me, right? No. Then lucky for you, I'm here. Welcome to the future. Is it any good? Trust me, you were going to like. Right, it's time to lay on the law. Eddie is upstairs playing with a human boy, and you are going to stay in the basement. Who says? I do, because I'm the boss. No, I'm the boss. He's definitely the boss. He keeps telling us he is. Oh, uh, come on. Not anymore. Have I been sacked? No, because you never were the boss. Are you sure? Quite sure. Now, do as I tell you and stay in the basement. Who says? Just stay away from Eddie! Uh. I think human dad thingy wants us to stay away from Eddie. Mm. <gasps> then let's go look for Splurge! <laughs> <laughs> Level two. This is where it starts to get interesting. What do we have to do? Same as before, only quicker. Let's get Splurge's attention. Uh, ring the doorbell. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Uh, give him a call. <laughs> Try his mobile. Oh. You've interrupted my meditation session. Hmm? Look, I'm not relaxed at all now. Tried acupuncture. I've considered it. Uh, we could help with that. Now, where's that box of nails? Will you get out of here? No, we're not leaving without splurge. Bring it on. Kate. 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 What do you three want? Splurge. You can't have it. <laughs> 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 Is this some kind of game? No. <laughs> Launch fiend. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> 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 Who's 
Oh, I'm so glad you like him. Can he stay over? I don't see why not. I'll go and ask his mum. Hey, D! Splurge! Uh, uh, Splurgey! Later, guys. I've got to complete the bonus level. He doesn't like us anymore. That hurts so bad. You're going to have to learn to spend time without him. <laughs> what we do? Uh, so, how's it going? We're saving the universe. Again? <laughs> OK. Well, after you've done that, wash your hands before dinner. Bored, Big Eddie. <laughs> Do you want to play? What was his answer? He's still thinking about it. <clears throat> if you want us to leave, blink twice. If you want us to stay, do nothing. He wants us to stay! OK! Let's wake him up and have some fun. <clears throat> Twiddle the knobs, Norm. Uh, bye. I think you're perfect in my eardrum! I can't hear you! I'm deaf! And now you're cured. <laughs> you think that's funny, do you? Hey, chill, Big Eddie! I asked you to stay in the basement, but you won't listen. You never listen! You just poke! And prod! And push! Well, congratulations. You finally did it. Every man has his limit, and you found mine. I finally stopped! <laughs> Goodbye. Good riddance. But, but it's dark out here. And chilly. You're monsters. You're not afraid of the dark, and you're covered in fur. Bye. safe from alien invaders yet. <laughs> hey, how about you take a break? OK, I'm going to stand here and wave my arms! <laughs> wow, tough audience. Eddie has turned into a zombie. He's just staring at the TV screen, goggle-eyed with his mouth wide open. OK, so you're saying we've seen a definite improvement, then? I think I preferred it when he was playing with the monsters. They were messy and noisy, but at least they knew how to have fun. Well, I happen to like the new Eddie, and I think we should encourage him to play more computer games. It's too quiet around here. I could turn my pages really loudly, if you like. What's this place called again? Outside. Hmm. I'm going to introduce myself. Hello, tree stump. Hello, twig. I'm Haggis. <laughs> it was nice of Big Eddie to take us for a ride. Hello, little blue flower. Although, I didn't think much of his driving. Hello, Tufty Mound. I'll drive on the way back. We'll be home before tea. Everyone seems very friendly. <laughs> Norman, I disagree. Big Eddie will be back to pick us up any minute now. <sighs> OK, I'm calling a ceasefire. Put your weapons down. You can't do that. Oh, come on, let us play. Just ten more minutes. No, you've vaporised enough aliens for one day. Well, how would you know? Ooh, game range. Come on, Gavin, I'll walk you home. And why don't I have any computer? 
computer games? Because you've got something way better. Like what? <laughs> Any minute now. Any minute now. I hope Dad thingy gets back soon. <laughs> it's so dark. I can't find the light switch. <laughs> uh, we won't be here much longer. What <laughs> up? <laughs> Norman, come on, get serious. We'll be picked up soon. We have not been dumped. <laughs> dumped. <laughs> dumped? What are you saying? <laughs> Apparently, we blew our one chance at happiness. We're just stupid monsters, undeserving of love. <laughs> Wait, what if this is all a dream? When we wake up, we'll be back home with Eddie eating toast! <laughs> OK, OK, Big Eddie's not coming back. Let's find our own way home. <laughs> Calling all monsters, it's me, Eddie! Splurge, I'm back! Where is everyone? You look extremely relaxed. I've just been to town. Hey, how about the family supper? Just you, me, the kids. Maybe watch a movie afterwards all the way through with no interruptions. What do you say? Fat chance of that. Is anyone seeing Fiend Haggis and Norman? I've looked everywhere. They're not here. Imagine that. A monster-free household. I think they've run away. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? They're not here. I know it. Monsters! Chocolate chip cookies! Come and get them! This is all my fault. When I started playing that stupid computer game, I completely ignored them. No, it's my fault. If I hadn't interfered this morning, none of this would have happened. Have they actually gone? It's my way of coping. Nick, what have you done? Uh, I'm tired of walking. There must be an easier way home. Let's go by go-kart. Uh, any other bright ideas? Mm, let's go by speedboat. Uh, can we limit this to sensible suggestions? Mm. Well, we could fly home. Uh, you want to fly? If the little birdies can do it, so can I. <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. What are you doing? I'm flapping. Well, do it faster. No, I don't want to fly too high. You'll have to admire his spirit. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys want to hop on? I'm happy to give you a ride. Uh, no, no thanks, no. OK, well... Here goes. <laughs> I can fly! Haggis, <laughs> are you OK? <laughs> Am I home yet? Eddie, is that you? How could you do that? It's so cruel, Dad. It's night out there. It's the other woodland creatures I feel sorry for. Did they have supplies? Did you give them a phone? Or maybe I should have given them my credit card so they can order some takeaway. I can't believe you did this. No, I should have done it ages ago. Look, I know you find my decision hard to understand, but in time you'll see it's for the best. No, I won't. Not ever. Kate, you wanted this too. I thought I did, but I was wrong. Today proved that to me. We could be a normal family now. Like it or not, Fiend, Haggis and Norman are part of our family. <laughs> Don't say that. Yeah, it's true. This is their home too. You've got to get them back, Dad. Yes, you have. No, what's done is done. Come on, Dad. Let's go get them. Look, I'm the boss around here, and my decision is absolutely final. Fiend? Haggis? Norman? Where are you? Are you sure this was the right spot? Yeah, positive, then. 
The suitcases are there. They must have wandered off. It's a big forest. If anything's happened to them, I will never forgive you. I promise I will find them. Take Eddie with you. I'll stay here with Angela in case they come back. Uh, ooh, what you got there? Biscuits in case they're hungry. No, what? No, they're for the monsters. I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm hungry. Anything else you'd like to add? Did I mention scared? We're supposed to be the scary ones. Shh! Did you hear footsteps? Listen! Hey! <gasps> Did you hear that? Yeah! It was you! Huh? Oh, am I following me? Oh. Does anybody know which direction we're supposed to be heading in? Oh, let's face it, we're lost and all alone. <laughs> they're gone. They're, they're nowhere to be found. But we're never going to see them again, are we? We're not leaving here without them. Not ever. We'll look again at first light. I looked up to you. I thought you were the best dad in the world. Not anymore. So if I could turn back the clock, I would. I'm sorry. I can't believe they're gone. Me neither. It's almost as though I can smell Norman. <laughs> And that creaking branch sounded just like Haggis farting. <laughs> oh, we miss them! I'm sorry. I miss them too. <laughs> oh, isn't this nice? A group hug at last. Mm. What's wrong with that? Is there something on my back? Thank goodness they're all right. Let's go home. <laughs> well, never off in it, not with all their luggage. There might be room in the boot. <laughs> oh, I guess not. Hey, 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 what about me? See you at home! Hey! Don't leave me here! <laughs> Come on, Dad, or we'll go without you! Wait for me! Everyone is different. You can't choose who you were born. I'm not Splurge. I'm Eddie. But I'm a monster at heart. Supper time! Come and get it! Eddie, come on then! OK, <laughs> who's first? Me! Oh, yeah. I'll go over here! <laughs> We're all just one big, happy, hairy family again. If you insist on doing that with your food, would you at least throw some my way? Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay, Dad? We both behave pretty badly. Are we quits now? Quits. So, how did you three like your little adventure? Oh, outside is a dump! There's no roof on it. We were rid of them for a brief moment. We were free. I know. Everybody needs a monster in their life. I know I do.
If you've got Sky, then press the red button on your remote and click on CBBC Extra, the home of CBBC exclusives. You can find out all you've ever wanted to know about Hacker and his adventures with Digby Digworth from Scoop.